Hello and welcome to another one of my Asana training videos. Today I'm going to be going through the rules feature within Asana and showing how you can use rules to build automation sequences into your projects to make them even more efficient to keep your projects tidy and organized and move projects forward in a more of a processed sort of way. If you have any questions about rules or Asana, leave me a comment below and have a look in the description below this video to see details of my consulting services and getting in touch with me to get help with Asana setup and training. Now then, um, to demonstrate this new feature, I've got a very simple project set up here called Design Requests. And you can see I've got some very simple stages, uh, sort of typical Kanban layout. So a new request will come in here and it moves from left to right through in progress, waiting for approval and then complete. So fairly typical sort of process workflow kind of project. So now here's the new rules button. I'm recording this uh, mid-October 2019. Asana hasn't really made an announcement about this yet that I've seen. I think they've just kind of added it to people's account to just uh, slowly get some feedback. And so yeah, I've noticed it pop up this week and I wanted to make the video. So here's the new rules button that maybe you've noticed pop up in your account. And this is where we can build some automations. So if I add a new rule here, first thing is, who has access to rules? It's going to be premium, premium users and above. So premium users can create rules using a series of templates that you can pick from here. Business users will have the ability to create their own custom rules. So there's a bit more flexibility there. And rules work on a trigger action system, similar to other automation tools that you maybe have worked on in the past. So I'm just going to quickly create a sample rule. Let's just say uh, task complete move task. So I generally, when I'm naming automations, whether I'm using Zappy or, or whatever, um, I, I like to name it kind of the trigger and then the action. So I kind of know what my automation is doing. And so here, Asana is giving me triggers and actions here. So here's my trigger, maybe when a task is marked as complete. And now it's asking what my action is. So let's say, you know, I could do a number of things. I could set the due date. I could set the priority, which is a custom field. I'm just going to move the task to a particular stage and I'm going to move it to my completed stage. So very sort of simple, um, simple feature, quite, quite straightforward. Some things I would love to see in here, obviously this feature is new this week. Um, I'm expecting it will, they've got some plans to make this even better. Some of the things I would love to see are adding filters or conditions. So between this trigger and the action, if I could have a filter that says maybe only tasks with a certain date or assigned to a certain person should have this rule applied. I think that's a natural uh, next you know progression for this feature. And I would also like to be able to string together multiple actions. So maybe when the task is completed, move it and change a custom field or add a follower or something like that. I think just stringing together multiple actions would be nice as well. So I'm going to remove that. So let me talk you through some of the example rules that I've created and then I'll demonstrate those. So here, for example, is actually let's demonstrate, uh, let's create a task first of all. Let's just say this is a new logo that we're designing. I have a rule. Uh, first one I want to show you is if it's moved to a particular stage, I want to assign that. So here's my rule. Task moved to a certain column. Nope, wrong one. Here we go, task moved to a certain column. We want to assign the task to John Smith. So in this case, if it's in progress, assign it to John. So if I do that here, if you watch the task, I'm gonna drag it, I let go, Asana will take a second, uh, we can see a little pop up down here and we can see it's now been assigned to John Smith. The next rule that I've set up is if the task, if a custom field, which is my priority field, is set to high, I want to change the due date. The next automation I have set up is where if a custom field changes, in this case my priority field, if I set that to high, I want to change the due date because it's a high priority, I want to bring that due date forward maybe. So I've set it and then you can pick a number of days in the future. So I've picked one day. So let's do that now. Let's uh, click on my task, change this to high. Again, I'll give Asana a second to process this rule. And if you watch the due date, there we go, it's just been updated to tomorrow. And you can see these, these rules are recorded here in the change log, which is nice. We can see what rules have been executed that have updated a task, which is nice. Uh, the change log normally shows who has updated the task, but obviously it's a rule updating the task in this case. So that's really cool. I think using custom fields is gonna be really useful. Another rule that I have set up is if I, uh, let's, let's, oh, let's look at it here, here we go. If I attach a document to my task, move it to another stage. So, you know, for this design request, John's working on the uh, the design. He attaches an image. Let's just pick one from my, let's pick this logo. So we attach this image. 
Again, we'll give it a second. We'll see the task automatically move to the waiting for approval stage. And there we go, the rule's running, and the task was just moved. And then finally, the, the first rule that I showed at the start, if I mark this as complete, finally we'll see the task move to the final stage. So there are a few examples of the kinds of rules you can build into your projects. They are set at the project level. And I think it's going to be a really useful way to build more consistency and kind of like a process into your project. So if a task is created or assigned to a certain person, you can have certain actions ex executed. So I think it will actually help to make processes more efficient and help people follow good procedures depending on the project that you're working in. So hopefully you found that useful. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to be updated about new videos um, about Asana. And thank you very much for watching.